All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, obviously, they're coming off a Super Bowl win, and they've also had a very good offseason thus far. But I want them to make a big splash at wide receiver or at least some type of puddle, some something. I want something. Now, obviously, you have the best tight end in NFL history in Travis Kelsey. However, he's turning 34, and I just want more. If I'm the Chiefs, I just want a little bit more. The main reason is Juju went to the Patriots. All right, so when we take a look at the Chiefs wide receiver room, and also McCall Hardman is, went to the Jets today. So he's no longer even possibly going to come back to Kansas City, which I think a lot of Chiefs fans and NFL fans were anticipating at this point. However, you have Kadarius Tony, Sky Moore, and MVS. Along with Travis, that's not the worst bunch in the world, right? You have Patrick Mahomes, you have the MVP, and it's all contingent on Mahomes. But I have new news about DeAndre Hopkins. So according to Don Kleeman, the Cardinals will not be able to get their initial asking price of a second round pick and another asset in a trade for Hopkins. He thinks it will be closer to what the Cowboys got for Brandon Cooks, a fifth and sixth round pick. Even if it was still a second and third round pick, the Chiefs need to bounce on this. All right, they need to bounce on it, and we're going to talk about why in today's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy and you like daily NFL content, you've come to the right place. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. I post a couple of Chiefs videos every single week. Chiefs Kingdom, if we get this video to 500 likes, that would mean the world to me. And I also want to hear from you guys down below. Now, DeAndre is a needle mover. And for the asking price of a fifth and sixth round pick... I know it's draft capital, but this is a move you just got to make. DeAndre Hopkins is still, even at age 30, one of the best tight. He's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. And if you pair that with the best tight end in NFL history in Travis Kelsey, uh-oh. Hey, along with the MVP and the best quarterback in the league, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, that is the most lethal duo I can trio. I can possibly think of. So let's take a look at the wide receiver room before we get into DeAndre. I love Kadarius Tony, and I know that the reports are the Chiefs are kind of thinking Kadarius will be the number one option. I think we're a little bit off from that. I think he's better used as kind of an X factor, a guy you obviously want out on the field. But I think if you pair him with a complimentary wide receiver one, even if it was Juju or if it's DeAndre or whoever it's going to be, I think that's where you can really see Kadarius excel. He still is extremely young. He's going to make mistakes, obviously, but there is that injury concern. And although no one wants to talk about or especially root for injuries, it, it needs to come up. All right, and then we have MVS. Now, as a Packers fan, I love MVS, but if we're being real here, he is just an average piece to have. All right, Sky Moore, a little bit more unproven. I know that Patrick Mahomes doesn't need DeAndre. I know he doesn't need an extremely proven wide receiver one, a Hall of Famer, a several-time Pro Bowler. But that Juju loss came as a huge surprise to me, and I know it came to, as a huge surprise to a lot of Chiefs fans. He had seven inter receptions, jeez, seven receptions in the Super Bowl, and you need to... It sucks because you need to replace him, all right? You just need to replace him. I like Kadarius, I like Sky, I like MVS. That's not the point of this video. You need to replace Juju. You know, we talked about Nikhil Harry in our last Chiefs video, and Chiefs, not too many Chiefs fans were all for that, which I can understand, but having a veteran wide receiver could be a huge, huge step to the next level, and keep in mind, the level that they're at right now is already a Super Bowl winner, so you're getting into an extremely lethal trio, seriously. I think it's because DeAndre was with the Cardinals that he's kind of flown under the radar like last season you know whether the last two years it was injury or suspension he's still a great receiver in just nine games he had 64 catches 717 yards for an average of 80 yards per game and i think the cardinals with the way their season went last year i think that's the main reason why no one's really talking about deandre along with the injury and suspension in the last couple of years this was a guy who made five Pro Bowls in six years, just as recent as two years ago. Now, 
We've talked Odell on this channel, and I know for a fact that the Kansas City Chiefs could get Odell Beckham Jr. I know they could keep him healthy, because once again, you don't need Odell. However, I really think availability is critical when we're talking about just players in general, honestly. So, I, you know, if you're going to get Odell, I would rather them also get DeAndre. Now, one thing to mention is the draft. This is a very talented wide receiver draft, but why not all of it? Why not more, right? The famous meme, why not more? Why not both? All right, why not both? So seeing guys like Juju go to the Patriots or Thielen to the Panthers, it's just something I want Kansas City to at least, and I know they've entertained Odell. I know they're entertaining DeAndre, but with that drop in asking price to a fifth, sixth round pick, DeAndre is not going to be available for much longer. And the good news is as well, much like recent trades we've seen with Brandon Cooks, the deal will be restructured. That's really the only contingency I've been seeing with Chiefs fans or even just NFL fans if their team's in the hunt for DeAndre is, yeah, you know, it could work. Maybe people are looking at a, a little bit more high risk, high reward. It's not that high of a risk at all. He is one of the best wide receivers in this league. He's going to restructure his contract. He's only 30 years old. It's not like we're talking about a 34 year old DeAndre Hopkins who's had you know, injuries in the last four seasons. That's not what we're talking about. I view this move as a must make. Now, once again, you don't need to get DeAndre. Uh, the draft, I anticipate actually DeAndre or not, Odell or not, the Chiefs are going to draft somebody at wide receiver. And, uh, you know, Veach has done a phenomenal job at drafting talent in general, whether it's the first round, second round, third round, seventh round, it doesn't matter. The Chiefs management has done such a good job at drafting starting caliber players no matter where they were picked and they do an even better job with Andy Reid and the Chiefs coaching staff at developing these players into rising star potential so yes they're you're not going in even though you lost Juju and you lost Hardman you're not going into next season whether it's Hopkins whether it's Odell or a rookie wide receiver you're not going into next year with this current group of wide receivers Kelsey stud I want options though. Why not continue to improve on your strengths? I think Tony's like a year away from possibly being wide receiver one. I think we need to see a full healthy season from Kadarius. And why not go out there and get that extra reassurance or extra insurance, I should say, to reassure <laughs> your group. So that's it for today. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. But guys, most importantly, let me know what you're thinking. Now that that price has dropped, Chiefs Kingdom, should they make a trade for DeAndre Hopkins? I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.